America is a country so blessed with prosperity. It only makes sense that much will be asked of her in return. To whom much is given, much will be required. We've always kind of felt like when we're going to continue on in the franchise, don't make another movie unless it has relevance at that time. No one has a monopoly on the truth, Mr. Hill. Not even you. The challenges that Rebecca faces are just with this idea that someone is going to say, you can't live the life that you want to live. I'm here to review your homeschooling environment. We're going to take this ability to educate your children the way that you feel led to. And your lesson plan is the Bible? Well, for theology, I'd be hard-pressed to find a more appropriate book. My character is me. I, I'm just bringing myself to this one, and I personally want to fight for God. Every family in the co-op has just received a court summons. How is that possible? They're willing to fight for it. They're willing to lose everything for it. I mean, I'm talking about losing their careers, losing their house, and everything they ever worked for. If your children do not show up at school a week from Monday, you will be charged with contempt of court, meaning you will be incarcerated. When this case is brought before her by the school district, she, of course, is inclined to go along with the school district. I mean, that's the law. Now, that's definitely the way to mandate universal educational guidelines. All of a sudden, they're going to Washington to plead their case, and our freedoms can easily be stripped away from us if we don't stand up. Homeschooling is like a weed to these folks, and they just want to yank it out. Which is why I think we should fight this. I just want to make sure you understand what you're fighting here. Parents in the St. Jude Co-op have refused to conform their curriculum with district Your Honor, please Your beliefs do not exempt you from the law, Mr. McKinnon. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Our department considers homeschooling an unusual, unnecessary, and borderline antisocial practice. That's what the parents of these children understand. America was founded on these principles, and if we just throw them away... I think we're done here. He's a, a guy who's been on top for a long time, and he intends to stay there. You really think anything you said in there is going to have any effect on what we do? A congressperson that is on their side, I think it's important and unique into itself. They insist on trampling believers' rights. Well, sir, they are in for a fight. And all of a sudden, he's going before Congress to talk about freedom and why it's important that we keep our freedoms. A government of the people! For the people! For the people! The continuation of our story, I think, for, for myself anyways, I wanted to hearken back to kind of the innocence and the charm that the first film had. If you haven't seen the other movies, it's okay. I mean, this God's Not Dead, We the People stands by itself on its own, and it certainly is relevant for today's day. The Christian worldview is intact. That's the through line. It's written in an intelligent way, and the ideas that are being discussed in this film are ideas that need to be discussed. I think the movie is great, it's relevant, it's contemporary, and it really brings God into our lives at a time when I don't think we've needed him more.